I got my 13th read right here. I can't believe it. This is one of those spots that's just not, it's one of those honey holes no one hunts it. Well guys, I've been on the road since four o'clock this morning and now it is 6.30 and uh, just pulled up to my lake. I'm here now, so let's get suited up and I'll see you guys out in the water. This lake has always been real good to me. Uh, taking a lot of rings out of here. It's not hunted that much, but I don't know. Uh, we'll get in there and see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some good rings and a big gold ring. Let's look for that. All right, let's get out there and let's get the swinging. Well, I've been out here just about 10 minutes. I'm digging, digging a lot of money and uh, a lot of pull tabs, a lot of pennies. And uh, that's always a good sign when you're the first one out on the lake and you're digging a lot of uh, trash and money that usually means that's no, that hasn't been hunted. I got a 74, a 76 and right beside it like a 42 signal. And I thought it was going to be, going to be another penny, but I went ahead and reached down there. I'm just about knee deep water. And check it out. It is an official episode. The first good find Preacher Digger got was his cross. All right, it's an episode. I'll take that. That's a good sign. Let's keep on going. I was getting a, a real, real jumpy 70. And I guess it's because it's a rope ring, but it ends up being a little silver ring. I see Don 25 marked on it. And it was down about four inches and didn't sound like a silver at all. Rings up like a 70. But uh, quarters are ringing up like a 90 here too on the AT Pro. So the numbers here in this lake are a little bit different. But hey, that's a ring. It's a silver ring. All right, let's keep on going. That's ring number one. I've been, it's been about 30 minutes since I found that cross. And lots of money. Just, I'm digging money left and right. So, all right, let's keep on rolling. Well, I just uh, came up to the truck to get me a drink of water. And of course, uh, my eyes are trained to the ground. And uh, that bench right up there, I spotted something on the ground. And check that out. That's a, uh, that's a cool looking knife, isn't it? Laying right on top of the ground. And so I picked it up and I was walking down here to the shoreline. And look right there. I think that's a surface sign. Right underneath the water. Looks like it's going to be a necklace. I can't tell if it's silver. Let me look for a second. Okay, let's see. No, it's not going to be silver. It's just going to be copper or some type of metal. But hey, always look down. All right, let's keep on rolling. guys I got a kind of a deep 6061 and uh, ends up being a tungsten ring I'll take it it's got a uh, it's also got a diamond in it I have to check and see if that's real I wouldn't think it would be but I don't know um, it's a great tungsten ring and normally they ring up like a 68 but this one's ringing up like a 61 like I said the numbers out here are just ringing up different than what on the other lakes all right that's two rings right here in the same area too I just keep going out further and further and uh, two necklaces and a knife, so let's keep on rolling. Hey, about the stuff you find in the lake, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can see that on the GoPro camera here, but not way steep of water. It's getting like a 48 to a 50, and it's a copper skull or an alien. It looks like an alien skull. Might have become off a piece of a charm bracelet or something. That's weird. Oh, I thought I'd show it to you. All right, let's keep those things. Well, I was making my way back from waist deep up to shallow water because I'm making my way back to the truck. And uh, I got a 66. I'm thinking it's going to be kind of a beaver tail. I've already looked at it, guys, but to check that out. That is a gold ring with a green stone and a heart. But man, I got tungsten, I got silver, I got gold. What else am I going to get? Yeah. All right, man. That's going to be nice. Uh, 
Uh, it's just going to be a copper ring now. All the gold plating is off of it. So that's ring number four out here today. And uh, got the gold ring, the tungsten ring, the silver ring, the copper ring. Doing really well. All right. Check this out guys, Preacher Digger done got him another cross and this time I got the chain with it too, it all came up together. And uh, usually we don't find the chain, I was looking for the chain for that first cross I found, but that's two crosses. Gosh, I'm on, a, I'm on a streak right now, I'm doing good. I'll tell you what, this lake has not been hunted at all. It has not been hunted at all. And uh, I'm digging up so much money, so much money, pull tabs and everything else and plus all this jewelry. All right, let's keep going because I'm not even but one third away done. All right, let's keep going. Oh, you got a GoPro right there. Yeah. Oh, what's that? No, we Just got an 80, 82 signal here and dug it up and it came up in a silver ring here. Oh. So there's still more rings out here, so we just got to keep looking. <laughs> All right, just uh, down past from that silver ring, I got another uh, 60, uh, 69, 70 signal. And uh, come up being a very beautiful tungsten ring with some gold trim in it. So uh, let's Thank keep you. swinging. Well, it is 521 I got in this lake at 7 a.m. this morning. I drove uh, over two hours to get here and just took a real, took a real big risk. And some, you know, if it's gonna pay off or not. And boy, has this lake paid off. I'm still searching. I'm still finding stuff. A little bit further between now, few and far between. Uh, I've cleaned out a lot of it. So far, I've got 11 rings and two crosses and one necklace. Got 11 rings today. The most rings I've ever taken out of a lake in a single day is 12. So I, maybe I can tie, even break that. And the most I've done in one week was 17. And right now, I'm at 15. I've got 11 here, and i got two at that other lake and then two at the other lake, but they were ring returns. I found them, you know, and gave them back to that lady. So I'm gonna count those, that'll be 15. So two more rings that I can tie my week and uh, beat my record. Well, I had some people come up to me and said three weeks ago, this lady lost a gold earring and uh, I came over here to look for it and I found it just as soon as I got over here. And, uh, Bringing up like a 40 something, and uh, but they're not here now, so I'm, I think it's 14 karat gold. I can see some writing up on the uh, piercing part right there, so uh, that's a good find. I'll take gold. That's my second gold, I think. I think it's my second gold, maybe third. All right, let's keep going. Uh, boy, I tell you what, the uh, signals have went quiet, and I'm out, out here in the deep water just hunting areas I haven't covered yet. I've got 11 rings, and I just got my 12th one. I tied my record for the most rings in one day. Got another beautiful tungsten ring. Um, out here, about five and a half foot of, foot of water, ringing up as a 63. It sounded like a good ring, but uh, that is number, what did I say? That's number 12 for today. And my record is 17. So if I can get one more ring, I'm going to stay in the dark. I've been here 12 and a half hours, and I've found 12 rings. So I'm averaging about a ring an hour. 
And uh, so that's good. I'm gonna stick around till dark and uh, see if I can't get one more ring and beat my daily record, but tie my weekly record. And uh, so it's been a good day. I mean, it's been a good day. This, this place has always been good. Uh, like I said, I took 10 rings out of here before. And uh, every time I come, I get at least three or four. But I'm just searching all over. And uh, well, it's a beautiful, beautiful tungsten ring. I've dug about three of these up now. So, all right, let's keep on going for number 13. Lucky number 13. Let's get out. The sun's just about setting. I was getting a 75, and this is going to be a 925 uh, with a red stone in it. This is my 13th ring in this one lake. I've been here for almost uh, a little, about almost 13 hours. I've been here, yeah, over 13 hours, 13 and a half hours, and I got my 13th ring right here. I can't believe it. This is one of those spots. It's just not. It's one of those honey holes. Nobody hunts it, and. Uh, I've been doing it for the last uh, three or four years and been doing real well at it. But uh, nice silver ring. I'm going to stay out here just a little bit more, but that's uh, 13 for the day that beat my record, and that tied 17 for the week. So I'm tied for my most rings in a week, but I beat my record on the one on uh, on for the day. And that's my record was 12 rings out of several different lakes. Uh, this is 13 rings in one lake. Well, I'm gonna call it quits. I've got uh, right at 14 hours in this one swimming area. I'm wore out, I'm cramping up, I'm exhausted, but I just couldn't let this one go. This is one of those once in a lifetime places, you know, that uh, I don't think anybody hunts this at all. No one has ever seen anybody out here metal detecting this, this, this lake. And uh, I stumbled upon it a few years ago and it's been producing ever since. So I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, I got in from the lakes yesterday, last night, and uh, had a great, another great week. I'll tell you what, I have been in the zone here lately, and uh, this lake was not any different. Like I said in my opening, this lake has always produced a lot of rings, and this is the, this is the greatest day I've ever had in water detecting. I broke all records from last Friday to yesterday, which was uh, Friday. I found 22 rings, 22. My record was 17 in eight days, eight days, and here it is 22 in eight days. And uh, and my most I've ever found in one day was 12, and um, and that was at several different lakes. I went to this one lake and I found 13 rings, and so it was a great time. I tell you what, but the heat, the exhaustion, I cramped up. It was just, man, we got to be careful when we're out there. Make sure that we hydrate. And uh, I learned a great lesson, and uh, I even struggled even more yesterday. I was out, but I uh, got everything laid out. Let me let me uh, spin you around. Let me show you what we got. All right, here's all my trash. This is all my aluminum and foil and junk like that. My aluminum uh, caps, and bottle caps. Got a bunch of miscellaneous wire and and, and uh, different things like that. I guess we can put that fish hook over here with the other fish stuff. And then bait pins that the kids smoke. And we got all these beaver tails. You can always tell how old your swimming area is if you have these in there. And uh, then all your modern day pull tabs. But there are also some uh, older pull tabs in here like this, some of the earlier ones. And so definitely, uh, the lake I was in, every bit of this came out of that one lake. There's no other lakes there at all. It's just this. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. And uh, got a pair of goggles. And then got a real cool looking knife. This was a surface find. I found it out there on the beach as I was walking down to the water. And it uh, looks like a big raptor claw. Well, I'll tell you, that would gut you out, wouldn't it? I don't know what you even want to keep that for. But got a couple of re uh, uh, keys with, with Spidey Man. And we got uh, 10, 20, 30 dollars. I mean, 30 dollars, three dollars and 70 cents in dimes, 75 cents in nickels, and we got um, one, two, three, four dollars and uh, 60 cents. I mean, uh, 46 pennies, and uh, we ended up with lots of quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, seventy-five. So about $16 or so in just coins, wow. Here's all my, my good stuff, my jewelry. Here's my studs and the earrings. Uh, here's my loop earrings here. 
Then I've got some little jack-o'-lantern necklace and then a belly button turtle and then a charm bracelet with a little skull on it. I never did find the rest of it, but I found that. And then we got this little necklace thing here. A little eat up looking chain. Then Preacher Digger gets his cross. Check that out. A cross within a cross. And that's stainless steel and this one's stainless steel. And I found the chain with this one. And uh, so got two crosses. So that's going to be, I think, number maybe 46 and 47 crosses that I have dug uh, since I've been doing all this. Here's the rings. We ended up with, look at this. We ended up with 13 rings out of this one swim area. Unheard of. That's why I named this video insane. This is just insane uh, to go there. And, and I was the only one till lunch. And look at all these rings. But got a little bee ring. A um, little bumblebee. These are my what I call my junkers. That's aluminum and some other little junker. That's a little copper ring. And then I got three stainless steel rings. And this one's kind of sad. It's got R.I.P. on it and has the date 12-1974 and has Madison on it. So apparently Madison died in 1974 and I know the person who lost that is really missing that ring. I got some beautiful tungsten rings. Got a little diamond in it. Check this one out. I love this one. And all the kids today are wearing tungsten and got that one. I've never seen one like that. That's really neat. So three tungsten rings, and then check this out. I love this ring. That is an engagement ring. It's silver with that red stone on it, and I haven't cleaned it up yet. It's going to be very nice once it gets cleaned up. I think that is a beautiful ring. And then I got another James Avery. I've been on a James Avery roll. This is an initial ring. I think that's going to be an O. And then I squeaked out a little gold ring. Check that out. And... Three years ago, my, I was at that lake and I was walking out and I dug the same exact ring. There was two of these in that swim area. And I melted the first one down, got some money for it. But I've got this one, it's a little, I don't know if this is a little emerald, but it's a, it's a little ring, uh, 14 karat. And so there it is, folks. All of that came out of one swim area. Unheard of, insane, I've never dug 13 rings in one spot with those two necklaces and uh, like I said in the opening I'm the only one that's detecting this lake and uh, hopefully I can stay that way because it just keeps producing so anyway there's all the trash and there's all the treasure like I always say the greatest treasure isn't what you can go find in a lake and put on your tailgate and uh, show uh, in a YouTube video the greatest treasure my friend is up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless